Hey everyone, so after watching No Way Home, everyone has seemed to not only enjoy it, but really, really, really specifically enjoy the return and presence of Andrew Garfield, and it's really shed some light on the character, uh, his version of the character, and after his two sequels, him returning, it's, everyone seemed to really push seeing more of him, and today I'm going to be discussing what we could possibly see, realistically, for the future of Andrew Garfield. So, obviously since No Way Home, even before, before No Way Home, in 2012-2014, Andrew's movies really didn't do well. I mean, there mild reception for the first movie, but the second movie, Amazing Spider-Man 2, really did not do well. And it wasn't ever really because of him. It was really more of the villains and some of the acting. The visuals were great, but it was never really on Andrew. I mean, he had his flaws, for sure, as Peter wasn't great in the first movie and stuff. But I'm not going to go into his character that much. I'm just going to go into the future of him, because he's pretty good. And I think that No Way Home is kind of his redemption to say, hey, I really, really put my heart and soul in this character. And he really, and everyone saw it in No Way Home. That's why he's really gotten his recognition. So, as you can see, everyone who's watched No Way Home and in general, I'm sure you've seen it, everybody, almost everybody's really, really, really pushing to see the return of Andrew Garfield, especially, specifically, in a third Tasm movie, a third Amazing Spider-Man movie, this is what everyone's pushing for, um, everyone wants it to happen soon, they think he should come back, college, late, late, going into an adult Peter, and specifically, everybody wants Venom as the villain for this movie. Tom Hardy's Venom, obviously. So I'm gonna first delve into that. Everything with Tasman Three, what I think about it. Here's my here's my take on that. Marvel still wants Tom to be in the spotlight. Tom is their guy. He's their Spider Man. He's they just had this big hit with him. I know Toby and Andrew definitely helped with that, but they just cleared his name. They just had this perfect setup for these sequels. Tom Holland is their guy. And it's uh, Tasman Three as exciting as it sounds. It would draw attention away from him and possibly whatever money his movies can make in the future. If Tasm 3 didn't, everyone's, oh, now I'm going to watch Andrew and Andrew, you know. They don't want to take attention away from Tom. And you can clearly tell that. I mean, that's why No Way Home, Tom obviously had the big arc and all that stuff. Toby and Andrew obviously were there. Everyone, fan, you know, everyone wanted them back. And they're happy to bring them back. But I don't think, and here's why also. Everyone's saying Venom is the villain, right? The problem with Venom being a villain now, and I've been saying this even when I thought, well, I assumed that he would be the villain for Thomas movies. Maybe he still will be, but he left the universe in the end of No Way Home, obviously. The problem with Ven that Venom being a villain, and it's the Sony, the Venom, the problem with it is, is they've set him up in his first movies to be a hero, or such a, you know, more of a vigilante, but they have not set him up to be a villain at all. So they would have to go back and retcon and switch the entire character arc that's happened. And it still wouldn't make sense because... Eddie was never the Eddie was never bad. Eddie was always the good person. He was the one that was working on Venom to not be bad. It's not like Eddie was bad and now Eddie's become good. Eddie's always been a good person in this universe. So now they have they spent the first two movies enforcing that Eddie's good and he's been trying to get the symbiote to also become, you know, civilized and good. So now they have to go back and change all of that, or give and even if they give they gave Tom a reason to, Tom Hardy's Venom a reason to be go against Andrew, it wouldn't be enough to be, like, a villain. He would, it would maybe be, like, an anti-hero kind of thing. But even then, Tom Hardy's not, like, that Eddie Brock is still, like, a hero. Like, still, like, you know, the, a good person. So, they kind of messed that part up, I think, with Venom. Um, so, that's why, another reason why Tasm 3, everyone wants Tasm 3 in it to be Venom. But, not only would Tasm 3 take away from Tom, but it would also, like, mess up the entire consistency of that Venom. There's no continuity there anymore because you'd, oh, I'm bad now, you know. I'm just trying to think of how they would switch that up and people would be mad. It would be like in Spider-Man 3 when they retconned Uncle Ben dying from the Virgo and they had Sandman kill him. I was like, okay, you know, like, that is just kind of bullshit, you know. So I feel like fans would be mad if they just switched up on his entire character arc. I mean, and that's really the main reason for 2003. Everyone, I mean... I'm trying to think any villains people would want. It, it would have to be. If they did it, it would have to be Venom. That's what they'd want. We haven't seen Andrew seen Venom yet. Everyone's pushing for Venom. It would have to be that. Maybe they could do a new Venom, but then you're just starting more things over. And here's why I think, overall, Tasm 3 isn't going to happen. And as much as I would like it to happen, I think that 
it would just be too much work and too much altering for Marvel and Sony to have to do to make that movie. What I realistically think for the future of Andrew Garfield, and I'll, Toby is a different topic, but the most realistic option, and I do think Andrew Garfield will return to Spider-Man. I'm going to pre- preface that right now. Andrew Garfield will return to Spider-Man. I think the most realistic, and I'm sure you guys have heard, the most realistic way for Andrew Garfield and maybe Toby to come back is through Secret Wars. And I say this because Secret Wars, I'm sure, I don't know if you guys read any of the comics, but it was in the 80s, basically all the heroes got teleported to this world um, and they had to fight all this a- these aliens, all this alien tech and stuff, um, which is cool. And that's the exact, that, that would be the exact thing that they could do. They could have Tom, Andrew, and Toby all get teleported or maybe just Andrew and Tom, whatever they decide to do. And I've heard this, and these are rumors that this is already going to happen. They've already planned to do this. Is they'll teleport all three of them, whoever they decide to teleport, and whoever, any other heroes they decide to teleport, into this world. From, I think the boy, the villain, the Beyonder is the guy. He just teleports them to the battle world, right? And just all these enemies, alien, fight against villains, enemies, everybody, right? It would be sick, and just like No Way Home, the thing with No Way Home is that Tom is still getting the attention. Tom would still be the attention, but you have Andrew and Gart and Toby as the crossovers. You have them to come through and help as well. You still have the fans, what they want, Toby and Andrew. You still have all of that, and Tom still gets the spotlight. And it also it would be like a crossover film, so you could have that, and you could still have Tom's movies going in the background. You know, Tom's movies still going on the side, whatever other release times you have for Tom's movies. So you still get that you get the crossover you could bring in you could bring in x-men you could bring in any uh, i think they would bring in for secret wars they wouldn't just be toby and tom it would be toby tom and andrew would be you know they would bring in other x-men wherever they could make that like a like a smaller mcu movie i mean i guess it'd be huge but it wouldn't be like avengers type deal it would be you know spider-man plus other villain other heroes and whatever villains they decided they're under just like a mosh pit of who the hell wants to come back and fight a bunch of fucking aliens you know it's my language but that'd be sick and that's what has been rumored to happen. Um, it could be like that. Could be like a new MCU movie. They could have the Beyonder as the new quote unquote MCU villain, like you know Thanos was. He is so Tom still has his villains on the side, so you don't have to bring any new villains in for this movie. That Spider Man villains. It could just be like an MCU villain that Tom, Toby, Andrew, whoever they else they decide to bring back to fight, while Tom still has his movies going on on the, in, in the other side. You have him in his college years fighting. Who the hell knows they're going to throw at him next, right? It would be great. You could have everything balanced. You'd still get Tom, Andrew, Toby, whoever else. But to be honest, asking for Tom, asking for Andrew to get his own movie is really, like, as much as we want it and as much as we, you know, it'd be awesome, I think the moral, guys, is that we got to be really thankful because think about it. Two to three years ago, we would have literally committed capital murder just to see Toby and Andrew back, right? We would have done anything. And now that we've seen them back, we're wanting more, 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 more. Which I know it's awesome. We want them back to see more. And I know they're great. Andrew has especially gotten the recognition. But we got to be thankful for what we're getting here, you know? We, we, think about it. We saw Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire fighting with Tom Holland in a movie in 2021. Like, we really can't. We got to be thankful of that and appreciate that before we start asking for a bunch more. And of course, they're going to want to bring them back. They're not against us, but they, they want to keep Tom as their guy. And, and I understand. And I, I could be wrong. Maybe they will do Tasman 3, but I'm just trying to think of it from a realistic standpoint. It would take so, so, so much fan push to get that movie out. Like, Snyder Cut worthy. Probably more than that. Like, you would have to get so much fan push and you'd have to get backlash. You'd have, it'd have to be more than, it'd have to be hate. It'd have to be more than just, oh, we want this movie. It'd have to be, like, hate and stuff. Like, that's, people, like, that's what got standard cut releases. Everyone was just hating on the whole Jock Sweet, all that stuff. Jock Sweet and stuff, all that stuff. You'd have to, it would have to be more than just a push. They don't have a reason to hate. So that would just be, like, it would just be toxic to do that. So my moral is, TASM 3, small, small, ch- and I, I, I don't see it happening, but... I think for the future of Andrew Garfield as Spider-Man, we could easily see him return. And not one, not two, and who knows how many Secret Wars they could do or whatever. And it doesn't even have to be Secret Wars. That's just the most realistic rumor that I've heard. And also, the best idea. I think that's the best way you could do it. Another Tom movie bringing them, another Tom Holland movie where you bring Toby and Andrew back wouldn't be cool because then Tom still is not, think about it, Tom still has not fought on his own yet. He had Iron Man help in the first movie. He had... 
Nick Fury in the second movie. He had Toby and Andrew in the third movie. They want to get Tom soloed up and just do his own thing. And that's why they wiped everyone's memory, like I said in this video. They want Tom to be on his own. He's Spider-Man now. He's no longer a kid. That's why I think they'll do a crossover where it's, okay, Tom doesn't really have a choice. Him, Toby, and Andrew all got teleported to this world, you know. They all have to fight now. It's not like Tom's like, I need help, you know. They all got, they all need help. They all got transported here. They all need help. It'd be the perfect setup. You could see Andrew back. Who knows who they could bring back in Secret Wars. They could literally teleport anybody, anybody they wanted to, you know. It's the perfect, I mean, it's, it's the perfect way you could do it. I think Andrew Garfield will return in conclusion. Toby, I could do a whole separate video on. Let me know if you guys want a Toby thing. But to conclude, Andrew Garfield will almost, I'm almost positive he will return as Spider-Man. But not in the way you think. In conclusion, Tasm 3, probably not going to happen. But be hopeful, Andrew Garfield will return. Thanks, guys.